What up guys? It's me, Christy. Huge rant. So frustrated. Okay, so the first thing really isn't that big of a deal, but I just feel like I need to get it off my chest. Everybody's buying their pumpkin spice latte and their pumpkin spice candles and their pumpkin shirts and their pumpkin but house decor or room decor or whatever. And it's like, I live in Florida and people that don't live in Florida don't understand. Why don't you people understand Florida? I don't understand. They just do not understand. It's sad. It is summer. Uh, Still summer. Okay. And if you know me or if you've watched my channel previously, like last year, you know that I love fall and I love getting into it. And like my channel is going to turn into fall. Like, like right now it's going to turn into fall. But and that's not what I'm mad about. I'm not about, mad about people celebrating fall already or getting in the spirit because I'm all about that. What stinks is that it's hot in Florida. It does not feel like fall until like the end of November and then it's almost winter. It's not fair. I am not a Florida girl at all. I have lived here. Oh my God. I've lived here for 20 years. Ugh. Oh my god. So I've lived here for like 20 years and I've been to the beach maybe like 10 times. When I was really young we lived in Florida and then we moved out of Florida moved back. When I was really young we went to the beach like all the time but as I've gotten older I don't like I just I don't like I like the idea of a beach. I like when I go on cruises and I go to nice like beaches like St. Thomas or like I love Castaway Key at um at uh, the Disney Cruise Line um, or Turks and Caicos or like any of those places, Puerto Rico, but like their water is like crystal clear and you can see everything. But like here in Florida, not all the beaches are like that, at least not the ones near me. And when seaweed touches me, I'm one of those people that like jumps out and I'm like, oh my god, it's on the touch my foot. And it's a piece of seaweed. I And I'm like terrified of sharks. Like the east coast of Florida I don't go to. I don't go to Cocoa Beach. I don't go to Daytona. I don't go to any Ormond Beach. I don't go to Vero Beach. I don't go to any of those beaches because there's so many shark attacks. I was I was swimming in Cocoa Beach one time and there was like this fin and I thought it was a stingray like just flapping its little f flapper things and then I looked again and it was a shark and I it was probably like 10 feet away and I like oh my god like could not breathe. The guy that I was dating at the time, I like kicked off of him like as if, like you know when you're in the swimming pool and you like push off the wall to like jet yourself, like propel yourself forward? I did that to like him. I like pushed off of him and like swam to shore. Obviously that relationship didn't last too long. And then later on we went out to the pier and there was like three sharks like circling the pier. So no, no. Homegirl, we, mm, no, we don't go in the water. I don't go in the water. No part of this goes in beach water. So that doesn't even have anything to do with anything. But I'm just saying, I'm not a Florida girl. I don't like the beach. I don't like heat. Like summer, I dread summer. Summer, I hate you. Everybody's like, summer, I love summer, bathing suits. And I'm like, oh, not summer. You step outside and all of a sudden you're like, like you got dipped in a vat of sweaty nastiness and it, it was hot almost all year long so it's hard to get in like that spirit of fall or winter but I'm still gonna celebrate and start embracing the fallness of fall um, I'm gonna roll with it um, the other thing with Florida weather is like people are like oh it never gets cold in Florida or Florida cold is different kind of cold it's majority hot but it does get cold for example I went to Kentucky years ago in December. It was snowing. I wore sweatpants, flip-flops, and a t-shirt. Yeah, that's right. That's what I wore. Was it cold? Not really. It was like cool, obviously. It wasn't like I was like, oh, it's hot, but it felt fine. Like it was snowing. I was like, snow. I felt totally comfortable. Didn't feel like I needed a jacket or anything. It was like perfect. But Florida, I will leave my house in like leggings with a pair of jeans over it, a shirt, long sleeve shirt, tank top, a sweater, and a jacket, and a scarf like wrapped around my whole face. You don't understand. Florida is a different kind of cold. It's like a wet, get in your bones, achy cold. In Kentucky, for example, it's like a dry cold. It's just like a dry air cold. 
Florida feels like you jumped in a swimming pool and then ran outside in the air. Just cold and like wet and it like hurts your body. Florida weather is just so, it's strange. Same with rain. For tourists are so funny. I used to work at Disney and tourists would be like, oh, it's gonna rain today. Should we go back to our hotel? I'm like, give it like 10 minutes. It'll, it'll go by. It'll leave. They're like, are you sure? I'm like, yeah, just hang out in the store for like 10 minutes and literally you'll go outside and it's like, it's not even like cloudy. It's just like sunshine. Like, hey, the rain is gone. Don't you want to celebrate? Come with me. Hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That's what the sky does in Florida. Legit. You have to see it for yourself to know what I'm talking about, but it happens. Okay, so the second thing that I want to rant about is rude people in customer service. Not just rude people because like we've all been rude. We've all had our days and even like us that have worked in customer service, like we get it. We got it. We know it. Okay. But like just like beyond rude, not rude like you can tell this person's had like a rough day, like rude just because they just don't give up. I went into Walmart recently. First of all, I was driving to Wally World and this lady was driving towards me. She honked her horn and flipped me the bird. What did I do to you who pissed in your Cheerios this morning? This lady just got like hostile. Like I, what? I didn't do anything wrong, crazy man. So that was already like annoying. Back to the original problem. So I go into Wally World, I get my item going through, get my item. And my hair was purple, I think at the time. And I love when people give you that look like her hair's purple. I know. I go and pick up my item and I'm walking back to the register where you know everybody's looking at me because I had different colors. I get to the register, I sit down my thing and I'm like, hi. And the person's like, hi. And rings me up. The whole time she's ringing me up, she's like turned around talking to the other like cashier. She's like, oh, it'll be whatever. So I give it to her. And she turns back around, um, puts the stuff in the drawer, still talking to the lady, t still turned around, hands me my bag like this. It doesn't say a word. Excuse me? Have a nice day to you too. I don't get that. If you are in customer service, you should be, I mean, I'm not saying you had to be like, hey, how are you doing? What do you like to eat? What's your favorite color? She could have been like, hey, how are you? Rang me up. Okay, it's this much. All right, here you go, have a nice day. And turned around and started talking to her friend because I was the only person in line. So like, you had plenty of time to talk to your friend. Coinciding with that story, I'm on the customer service level. There's a huge mall where I live and it's like a high-end mall. I went in there one time and I was wearing just like shorts and a t-shirt and flip-flops. I know that's not fancy. I walk in there and everybody is giving me, I will, let me tell you what store I walked into. I walked into Neiman Marcus and everybody is looking at me like, what is she doing in here? I'm sorry, there's no sign on the door that says you need to be in a ball gown and five inch heels to walk in freaking Neiman Marcus. And not one person approached me, not, nothing. Not a word spoken to me. Really? I was like, I'm not even gonna go ask anybody, I'm just gonna leave, cause I don't, I'm not like playing this game. The next day I come back and I'm wearing like a nice outfit. I had come from work, I wasn't going to the gym afterwards, so I didn't change into my gym clothes. I was just wearing like a nice outfit. Walk in and oh, amazing. People are like, hey, how are you? What can I help you find? Blah, 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 blah. And everybody wants to help me. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, of course, because I'm wearing like nice stuff. I hate that. You don't know who has money, who doesn't have money, what, like where they come from. You just have no idea. I've gone into like Sephora and Ulta and stuff or like counters at the mall with no makeup on and they just kind of look at you like, do you know what to do with this? Do you know how to put on a lipstick? Do you know what to do with an eyeshadow? Like, yeah, jerk, just give me the shit that I want. And then, you know, you go in there looking all great and they're like, oh, I love your stuff. I love your makeup, I love your hair. Okay, cool, thanks. Like I came in here yesterday and you're a butt to me, but thanks. Anyway, so that's uh, really all I wanted to rant about and get off my chest. I hope you feel what I feel. Hope you feel my pain. I'm saying my pain through your pain, through our pain. If you guys understand what I'm saying, like this video. If you have any experiences that you want to share, leave them down below. I'd like to read them and know that I'm not the only person alone in the world. I hope you guys have a great day and you don't have any bad experiences like I did. <gasps> we all go through them, but you know, hopefully we don't have to have them as often right if you are not subscribed to my channel please subscribe because it's fun and i post videos of all sorts just in like a hodgepodge of a youtube channel i'll see you guys in the next video bye